A lot of digital companies have um, you know, bought startup media companies with not that much success or a lot of challenge. If you look at, for example, uh, Friends Reunited, uh, Skype and some of those. So what do large corporates need to do in order to get these acquisitions to work? Or is it just fundamentally most, some, most will have problems? Uh, they need to buy the right ones, probably. <laughs> so. I mean, I think a lot of them were just bad choices to buy. Okay. Um, I mean, Skype's actually was quite a good buy and it did quite well. Yeah. And it's been spun off now again as a, I think they make 500 million a year. Yeah. I think it, you know, it's, it's a great business. It wasn't a particularly good fit when eBay bought them. Right. Because it wasn't, they, they had some crazy notion that you could, you know, phone or the person selling the goods. I mean, it's like, <laughs> well, you could just put a Skype link and do that. You didn't need right. to buy the company. <laughs> it didn't really make any sense as a fit. Um, so probably why they ended up selling it. So I, I think buying something that's um, the right product, that's kind <coughs> of a core fit to what you're doing. Yeah. Is, is probably a good idea. And I'm not sure Bebo was a great fit for AOL. And at the time, they were kind of very much reinventing themselves, considering mm. spinning out from Time Warner. Mm. Um, and then the, they changed CEO soon after Bebo was acquired. And then the new CEO had a very different vision for what AOL should be. So yeah. um, Bebo itself got marginalized and really never had an opportunity to succeed within AOL anyway. Interesting. Um, but certainly buying the right companies. And buying any startup can be tough if the cultures are so different. You know, big corporates tend to have a very different culture, and uh, if you subsume it within that um, corporate culture, it can often kill um, the startup. And a lot of the startup um, people that made it a success will leave anyway because they don't want to work for a big corporate. Um, mm. Maybe Google have been more successful than most at doing that. Yeah, it's trying to maintain that startup culture. Because I think AOL obviously big in 80s and 90s for instant messaging, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I think it was their first pure play social network that they'd acquired or played with. It was your third. So is it a lack of um, do you think experience in that? I just don't think they were committed enough okay. to to make that a success. I mean, they honestly, it seems they didn't really know what to do with AOL. I mean, they built the messenger. They built um, AOL Messenger in house, mm -hmm. and it was a huge success. It was a huge homegrown success. I think was it north of 100 million even at the time that Bebo bought them active users um, um, so huge success and great innovative product at the time but they never really knew what to do with it outside of IM they didn't know how mm -hmm. to extend it and make something else of it and I think the vision was that plugging a social network in with with AIM had the ability to, to kind of leverage the AIM membership into a social network but the challenge of that is that it's very hard to kind of make someone join a social network. Mm. Like if you drop someone in a social network, they probably don't want to be there. Yeah. They have to kind of get pulled in by their friends and want to be there for that reason. Okay. So c large companies can innovate through acquisition, but as you said, they've got to do choose the right ones and make it a focus, not a... Right, absolutely. Right.